Hello everyone. If you just got a new Android phone and want to transfer all your WhatsApp's chats and media history from your old Android phone to the new one, please follow the short instructions in this video. The WhatsApp chats history transfer I'll be showing you here is a local phone-to-phone -phone direct transfer and does not need Google Drive. As a preparatory setup, please take note of the following things for a successful data transfer. First, you have to use the same phone number as the old one on your new phone. But during the data transfer process, the SIM card could be in either one of the phones. In my case here, my WhatsApp number's SIM card is already in the new phone. Secondly, your new phone must not be registered on WhatsApp until you start the migration on your old phone. You may download and install the WhatsApp app, but do not set it up yet, like in my case here. Thirdly, both of your phones need to have Wi-Fi enabled, but they don't need to be connected to a Wi-Fi network as long as the new phone has an internet access. In other words, this data transfer process can be carried out without Wi-Fi network. In addition to that, precise location permissions are required to initiate the transfer, so make sure the GPS on both phones are enabled. And lastly, your phones must be placed physically close to each other. Alright, so now let's get started. First, open WhatsApp on your old phone, tap the three dots at the top right corner of the screen, and then tap Settings. On the WhatsApp settings, tap Chats. On the chat screen, scroll down and then tap Transfer Chats. Then tap Start on the following screen. Now go to your new phone and install WhatsApp if you have not done so. Once you have successfully installed WhatsApp, open it, and then follow the setup instructions. Accept the terms and conditions. And then allow WhatsApp to send you notifications. After that, enter the same phone number as the one you are using for WhatsApp on your old phone. And then tap Next to start the phone number verification procedure. In this procedure, WhatsApp will first try to connect to the WhatsApp server. This may take about 30 seconds or so, so please be patient. Once it's connected, a confirmation dialog asking if the phone number is the correct number will pop up. Tap Yes on that dialog to continue. WhatsApp will then request an SMS containing a verification code to the server. Once the SMS is received, it will automatically be detected, and your WhatsApp account will be automatically verified. After your account is successfully verified, WhatsApp will offer you to transfer your chat's history from your old phone to this new phone. So tap Continue to start the transfer procedure. On the next permission dialog, simply tap Continue. And then, allow WhatsApp to find, connect to, and determine the relative position of nearby devices. After that, a QR code will appear on the screen. Now grab your old phone, and then scan the QR code shown on the new phone. Once the QR code is successfully scanned, the old phone will try to establish a connection to the new phone. If successful, an invitation to connect dialog will appear on the new phone. So tap accept on that dialog, and the chat's history transfer will begin immediately. This process may take a few minutes or longer, depending on the size of your WhatsApp chats and media history. So please make sure that both your phones have sufficient power, or plugged into the power outlet, to ensure the process will be completed. Once the transfer is completed, tap done on the old phone. Then go back to the new phone, and tap next. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup of your WhatsApp account on the new phone. Once you have completed the setup, you will see all your chat's history on the new phone. And now if you go back to the old phone and open the WhatsApp chats there, you will get this message. Simply tap Login, and you will be brought to the WhatsApp login screen. Alright, so that's how easy it is to transfer WhatsApp chats and media history from an Android phone to another Android phone without Google Drive. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.